Well, first off, I'd like to say mitake api to each and every one of you. My name is Keith Steed. I'm going to share a little bit about a topic that's dear to my heart. There's a lot of people out there who will talk about medicine men. And they'll say things like, uh, okay, start it over. Oh boy, this is a tough one. You know, medicine men, they get a bad rap. What's even worse is that they go through a lot for the people. And those same people will give them a hard time. So it's a big circle of hard time for that medicine man. And nowadays, there's a lot of fake medicine men and foolers, ones who wouldn't really suffer for their people. My grandpa Robert Steed, he was my great grandpa. He suffered a lot for the people, for his people. And you got guys out there like Nathan Chasing Horse who lie. The first time I went to Gathering the Nations Powwow in 2009 or 2010, Nathan Chasing Horse said a prayer, said that Grandpa Robert Steed made him a medicine man. And that's not true, that's a lie. You can't make medicine men. No man has that power, or that right to make another medicine man. That's the Wawak huh, we talk about, is that power that Creator gives. No man on this earth can give bundles or Make somebody a medicine man. That comes from the creator. And there's a lot of foolers and a lot of fake medicine men nowadays. Talk about spider bundles and other types of bundles. When really the power of the Wawak huh, is given from creator. And I say Wawak huh, a lot. That's that ability to do miracles, to heal the people. That doesn't come from man. Robert Steed would say that he's the vessel and that he's the body, but the power comes from him. We're going through a really hard time right now because there's no medicine men left. And the ones that are here, a lot of them are fooling. A lot of them are faking. But one thing I want to talk to you about is I want you to pray because your thoughts and what's in your heart, what makes you you, is powerful. If you look down, take a look at your skin. Creator gave you that body. And there's only one of you. Out of eight billion some odd people here on this earth, there's only one of you. So that means you're special. What gifts and talents, what makes you. What's inside of you, that's what makes you special. And so you can pray, and Creator will hear you. Spirits, your relatives, they'll hear you. And so don't trust in fake medicine men or people who will say that they could do this or that for you, for a monetary gift or for this in return. But have trust in, in the big holy, Wakantanka. Have trust in yourself, that you have everything you need in your mind, body, and your spirit to make your dreams, to make everything, all of your endeavors come true, to make, to make it so that you could do anything you put your mind to. But, uh, we're having a hard time here. So do your best, do the best you can. Reductive.